Ralph here once again. The two things to take away from this small example here is this. It is basically that imaginary numbers are represented in Python by utilizing a small j, not an i, like we're most familiar with in math. It's one of the few characters that you can put right next to an integer, just like this, without having to use a multiplication sign because Python understands that this is an imaginary number, so small j. The second thing is far as graphing a circle. Now what we're doing right here is we're graphing complex roots of unity, yay. But beside that, you notice it's a unit circle of one. Use cosine and sine, if I get the right spot there, and the best loop ever is numpy lin space, and you just have a run and graph the entire cosine sine once, like a circle like that. And of course, I actually have 100 points, but it makes it look like a circle. Ralph signing off. Hope this helps, and I'll catch you all in a bit. Bye.